guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 5 and 6 of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. I'm a damn here, oh my god. I think I'm taking you out, like, at least by one side. Jesus. Oh, no, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I, I mean, yeah. And I don't really think they're that David style. <laughs> huh, no, 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 y'all definitely fucked. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, you got all the time in the world. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn it, man. Both of them, ugh. I mean, damn, you don't even want to clean up the bodies? Jeez.
Isn't this like episode one? Like, oh. Oh, damn. Mm. It's okay. You're all right. You're fine for now. Right, because clearly if you had to attend your homework, you would have known that, like, even though he is by himself, he still has ish with him. Okay, we'll see by the end of this series, babe. Oh, of course he's going to make you go through it again and again and again. Girl, go get your man. Like, ah! Please get that thing off of his fucking face, especially like, uh. Fuck is that sound?
fucking drones. Nah, they're already set on something and it's just about to blow up. Once again, David got a motherfucking death wish. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, boy! Yeah, let's see how that goes. Right, because honestly, I thought they would have to torture the shit out of him. And then it's like, yeah, I want to help you guys.
shit. Shit. Oh, he gone. That yeah. I mean, honestly, Ted ass. It sucks for him, but he gone. That's it. <laughs> you, you can't come back from that. Mm -mm. At least he died quickly. I mean, you know, not torturous. Hope none of y'all DNA was on him. I mean, but seriously, JK is right, though, because you either, you know, succumb to it or you die. And those one, one of the two things is going to happen to David. And so David is very much like it, he's he's basically second guessing himself, saying, like, no, that's just not going to happen to me. Like, I'm going to overpower. But as he said, one of two things is going to happen to you. Either this is going to happen to you. You're going to die. If you can't overcome it, you're going to die regardless. Do you want to die? I, I mean, okay. Also, having him in the vision as himself instead of, like, watching it. Holy crap. Like, that just, like, hit a nerve with me. Like, dude, it's just... <laughs> I feel for this kid. I don't want him to die. But just, like, there, there's so many signs that it's, like, he's dying. And I, I hate saying that because I'm like, damn, I really just want him to be happy with Lizzie and to just survive this show. I mean, this would be what, like the second or thir third trigger show that they've killed? Maybe like one of the that I've watched? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yeah, I mean, like, he, he died. <laughs> quickly i'm sorry like i didn't think he was gonna get killed right then and there i thought he would at least be able to live for one more episode then get killed but not to get killed in this episode <laughs> they was like hey yo his time is up we gonna go ahead and kill this bastard <laughs> that okay because like that's how i feel kind of with Maine like I, okay so we're about to go into episode six now right and I feel like Maine we, we've already lost one we lost Rebecca's brother in the previous one so Maine like Maine dying if he dies next like that's really gonna hit the gr the group and the dynamic of the group emotionally like just It would be really fucked up if he dies next. Something kind of, like, the signs are there for him dying next, but then at the same time, he could survive this series. I mean, because, like, I, like, I'm still fucking surprised Rebecca's brother died. Like, damn, I was not expecting that. I mean, out of all the characters, they could have killed anyone. They was like, yeah, we killing him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my money is a little now on Maine because, like, okay, they're, they're bringing him up so much and especially like with the relationship that he has with David and it, it gives kind of like a father-son dynamic because he's kind of taking him under his wing then he's also David's also having this relationship with Lucy and they're together and it's just like all right who are we taking out next to really fuck up with David like 
that there's just going to be a death where it's just it besides his mom dying and how super upset and the things that he had to deal with with his mom's death and specifically after somebody else in this group besides Rebecca's brother is truly going to fuck him up like bad bad like it, it's like okay once again when you get attached to a character so much and then they die and then you're like I truly don't know how to feel. So, you know, for me in a nutshell, the whole fucking cast, Akutama Drive. <laughs> Even though, yes, Doctor was a bitch, I still fucking loved her. And, you know, um, <laughs> cutthroat, my murderer, was, you know, what, <laughs> what he was in a nutshell. But, of course, just like with the Danganronpa characters and the Akutama Drive characters, I loved them so much so that I could rewatch or play that series and still cry over their deaths like a mil freaking so many fucking times. But... <laughs> yeah please don't kill anybody else <laughs> like I, I feel like once again I am fucking jinxing this so freaking much but it's just when you know you just know and I, I just it, it's kind of obvious like oh my god I don't like I said I don't want anything to happen to him because he he has like ever since from now to episode 5 he's changed his life like for the better and I'm I'm happy for him he's you know, he feels free and such, but the dangers that he still has to face, like, you're still scared for this damn kid. And then every moment, like, bro, wow, once again, you got a fucking death wish, bro? Like, damn. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Alright, episode six in three, two, one, go. I'm sorry. No, my Discord. Oh, <laughs> uh, boys. Of course, yeah. There's nothing out there. Damn, this boy ran all the way out. Jesus. Oh. See, you know that feeling I had in the previous episode? Mm. The fact that we just also started this episode with a POV of him? Come on now.
<laughs> Maybe he he should really sit this one out this time cuz it might be worse. Mm. Fucking drugs. I don't like the way he's standing there like that. No, 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 no. We just want to know if you're okay. No! Oh my... Aww. All it took was the cutest little pup talk. <laughs> It is too late for me. Mm -mm. Shit. Yeah.
I really still think Maine should sit this one out. He's going... He's going AWOL and he might fuck this up for all of you. Shit, I'm gonna knock his ass out. He waking up. Yeah, and you think he ain't going to sit and kill all of y'all? Come on now. Exactly. Nah, he's gone. I know, right? Because I could fucking say the same about you.
song so sweet. <laughs> I mean, because ain't that a little weird that his brain fried for some reason? It doesn't seem like something's a little planned, you know? Mm. This is a fucking trap! They're not going to make it out. Especially, Maine's not making it out. Oh my god. No! They're not- <sighs> Do not be reckless, damn! Shit was there. Damn it! You Going psycho. You know how, like in the Boondocks, where, the, where Riley was like, "I told you we should have shot that bitch." This is how I'm saying that. <laughs> Yes! Damn. Right, get the fuck <laughs> like, hey, he's psycho now. We gotta get the fuck up out of here. Every life for yourself. <gasps> That's the one time where I was like, you know, I don't think I oh, Jesus.
Guys, I'm scared. Last hurrah. No. You go. You can't save everyone! The detail on the sweat. Oh my god. I hate when I'm right. I really fucking hate when I'm right. Like, oh my god. Damn. I hate being right. I fucking hate being right, bruh. Oh my god. Dude, no. And I didn't think I was gonna cry. Ah, shit. This. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ, no. The fact that both of them. Both of them died in this episode! Are you kidding me? I got four. I got four. Yeah, I got four episodes left. This could end any... Oh my god, I'm scared. I, I'm scared. No, I don't want to watch the rest and see how this ends. Oh my god. No, because... Okay. Imagine if, like, okay, if Lucy and David didn't take this, <sighs> if they didn't take this job tonight, you know, like, yeah, they probably would have found out about me and Dodo the next day, being like, hey, you know, what happened? And be like, oh, hey. <sighs> they died. Oh, God. I did not think Dora was going to die. I thought she would have been fine. Like, oh. But no, like, especially in, in this series, no one. No one is safe. No one is never safe in this show, especially in this damn city. Because you can, one minute you can be alive and the next minute you can die. Like, oh, God. And then, oh. How 
how the fuck is he gonna cope with this now? He just watched him die right in front of him! Oh, God. I feel for him because this might re like I said this is as I said this gonna fuck him up oh he might be depressed for an episode or two or three I, I mean because like I, I can imagine like what once again this is gonna do to the whole group like David yes this can do a lot for him but the rest of the damn group learning about this and what happened? Yeah, a lot of people are going to be pointing fingers at each other like, well, you know, if you would have did this and you would have did that, we would have prevented all of this. But like, oh, shit. Oh. I got four more episodes left. This can end any freaking way. I Like, I, I honestly feel like I'm not, we're not getting a happy ending with this. We are not getting a happy ending with this show. Come on now. I mean, <laughs> seriously, let's be honest. We ain't getting no fucking happy ending with this show. Like, I'm already, you know, in a way, I think when I watched episodes one and two um, on Thursday night, I was like, yeah, we're, we're not. I am absolutely 100% sure. Seven and six, 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 six episodes and we ain't getting no motherfucking happy ending. <laughs> oh, God. And you made me cry, too. I thought I was not going to cry over him or just tear up over him. Because I'm like, okay, Maine, yeah, he's an interesting badass type character, but damn. But it was so, it was so obvious because once, like I said, you start the episode with him running in the middle of the desert and such, and, and like he's he's on the like the the freaking highway of like because behind him, of course, is Night City, just like the way to Night City. But anything else that's out there is in the middle of nowhere. So it's just like, okay, hey. Where you going? But oh, if if they only got if he only got his damn medicine, everything would have probably been fine. But it's it's a big old what if? Uh, shit! Now what the fuck is gonna happen with these last four? I'm I'm scared. Once again, I am scared. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes five and six of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will all see you guys either later on today or, well, because I don't even know, like I said, once again, I don't know if I'm going to have all these come out whatever day I decide or if I'm going to have them come out like a certain amount come out one day and the other. So whenever the heck episodes 7 and 8 come out, that is when you guys will see me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.